Adam, are you okay? I'm tired. No, come on, we have to go do an episode. Uh, I know. Uh, I want to burn it down. Well, let's do something with fire or smoke. Oh, here's what you didn't see. Yeah. Here's what you, cause, listen, I'm Can here you to- Can you put that damn thing back on the tripod? <laughs> You're gonna say it again? There's so much footage of you saying the same thing. <laughs> Wait! You know what? I wanted chaos out of this episode, <laughs> and unfortunately, I'm getting every single thing that I asked for. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Adams and Bonds, <laughs> the show where I, a real life scientist, do a chemistry experiment with the help of a fabulous lab partner. Today, we have Reese Havoc in the lab. Hi, I'm so excited to be Thank here. Thank you so much for being here. Tell us, uh, who are you? How did you get here? What are you doing here? <laughs> Literally, I, you're asking me, baby. Uh, my name is Reese Havoc. I'm New York City's premier, preeminent Reese Havoc impersonator. Mm -hmm. Do I love science? Yes, I do. I think the last time I was in like a scientific setting was probably like when Barack Obama was in office. <laughs> so it's like been a minute. So it's we've it's, all aged a thousand it's years. It's been a minute, but I used to want to do environmental science. I did get a five on the AP environmental science exam. My dad is like a computer engineer, and my okay. sisters are a chemical engineer. Well, and then now one is a mechanical engineer. Well, today I just want to hop right into what we're gonna do. So we better get some some little science looks on if we want to get going. Period. Let's do it. TikTok transition, TikTok transition. All right. Let's just jump right in. I want to show you what we're doing today. Period. Oh. oh. There oh. we go. Oh. oh my God. Oh. We did not expect that. Oh <laughs> my, it's, oh my, it's, it's like a chocolate lava cake. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Reese, what happened here? What do you think happened here? So, uh, I do know it's an, it's an exothermic reaction because heat was made. Yes. And we know that because of there was vapor happening. If you touch it, she's warm. It's warm to the touch. Is this solid or? You can touch it. <laughs> oh my god! It's giving like marshmallow that fell in the campfire. Hmm? I guess it's kind of like yeah, we lava it. hardening. <laughs> Close. So now we can introduce our reagents. We started with sugar, just regular ass table sugar, aka sucrose, sulfuric acid. That's all we were playing with today. So what happened here? So we had sugar, we got it a little bit wet, and then I dumped in a bunch of sulfuric acid and this happened. The reaction that took place is a process called dehydration. So when I say dehydration, what do you think of? I'm so thirsty. Yes, same. <laughs> but also, I think that something that makes science confusing a lot of the times is that words that chemists use to describe sciencey things are like the same as regular words that we use out in the world, but the intention of using them is completely different. So when a chemist says that something is a dehydration, um, they're talking about stuff on a molecular level. So this is sugar. Everything that tastes sweet, this is what she is. Do you know? Do you know about sucrose? If we look around this molecule, there are all of these little OHs. These are functional groups called a, they're called alcohols, but they're also sometimes called hydroxyls. In this case, I will be calling them hydroxyls. And so what happens in this reaction is we add a load of acid. Acid is a solution that has a really high concentration of hydrogen ions. It also means protons. Those are reactive, so they make a lot of stuff happen. In the case of this, here's what we have going on. We have our sugar. We have acid. This is acid. H plus. Now for reasons that you don't need to worry about, all of these oxygens have a bunch of spare electrons flying around them that aren't bound to anything, but they love to bind to these little positively charged floating protons around there. And when that happens, this functionally becomes an oxygen with two hydrogens next to it is... H2O. 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 That's who she is. <laughs> so it forms the a water. Diva. And then as soon as this water is formed, she's basically just like, I'm good, I'm gonna leave to go be its own thing. And that happens to all of these OHs all around this big guy. So when we say this is a dehydration reaction, we are forming water from all of the atoms on the sugar. They're all leaving, dehydrating, and then all that's left is just the carbony backbone, which is what we see here. And then <laughs> the reason why I wanted to do this reaction with you 
Not that it matters at this point. But because this is it's a, like a dramatic, violent, exothermic reaction, and your last name is Havoc, <laughs> and so I thought that we'd do like a chaotic reaction in the lab today. <laughs> and it was chaotic. It was. And, it, and if it so was anything, it was it was chaos. It, well, let's get more chaotic and do this shit on a bigger scale because we're trying Period. to like cause some cause some drama. Fuck it. All right, we're doing this on a bigger scale because nothing matters. <laughs> oh. Three, two, one. Invoke the madness. Stand by. Happy f***ing 10th anniversary of Adams and Bonds, bitches. Yes, bitch. You, you're, oh. watching, you're watching the- oh. 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 shit. Oh, oh shit. Gosh. Oh, damn. Oh. When, oh. He, when he says it leans to the left a little bit. <laughs> well, this is our chaotic, exothermic, <laughs> ridiculous dehydration reaction of sugar by acid. Extravaganza. Extravaganza. <laughs> Dupree, Dubois, Balenciaga the third. It's getting bigger. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I get that a lot. Reese. Well, thank you. I don't... <laughs> thank you so much for being such a good sport <laughs> and sticking this out. And I'm so glad I don't have to regurgitate anything I learned. I mean, it would be nice if I could have a lab report on my desk by Monday, but it's fine. I'm already asking for an exemption. <laughs> <laughs> Um, my dog's already dead. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming into the lab today. Where can people find you out in the world and on the internet and all that jazz? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Reese Havoc NYC. Mm -hmm. Baby, that's Reese like Witherspoon, Havoc the way it's spelled in the goddamn dictionary, mm -hmm. NYC like I love on the t-shirt. And you can follow Adams and Bonds on Instagram at Adams and Bonds, A-T-U-M-S-A-N-D-B-O-N-D-S. Wait, I, I literally just realized that it's because your name is Adam. Thank you. In the bio of that account, you can find our link tree, which has all the other links to everything Adams and Bonds related. And you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you are a drag artist in New York City and you would like to be on Adams and Bonds, there's a form in the link tree that you can fill out. And then we can see if we can get you on the show. That's it for episode number 10. And for this little like cycle of Adams and Bonds, but we will definitely be back with more exciting experiments and we can't wait to, uh, to see you there with us. So with that, Here's your souvenir. Okay. That's what washers are for. Cool. That's right. Bye. Bye.